This is where the uh, old ones taught me this story, and I know it's been recorded in different ways, but this is the way that I was taught. Long ago, when uh, first man and first woman were living here, and that's Kanate and Selu, uh, they shared a cabin out in the field, and they were they were uh, doing their responsibilities. You know, Selu, she took care of all the farming and the growing of the corn. And Kanate was the hunter. He would go out and uh, for sometimes a couple of weeks at a time, and he would hunt and bring the food back to back to the house. Well, one day they were home, and he did something, and he's not really sure what it was, but it really upset Salo. And Salo. Uh, went outside and he went out and said, what's wrong? And she looked at him and said, you don't know? And he said, no. So what's wrong? And she just got even madder at him. And then she started walking. And he said, wow, she's going to be mad. And she started walking away, you know, headed out towards the east there. And uh, he was sitting there and he thought for a while and then you know, a uh, creator came to Kanate and said, well, what's she upset about? And he said, I don't know. I don't know what I did. And the creator said, well, you better go talk to her and, and see what's going on. And, and Kanate said, well, all right. And he started walking towards her. Well, the day was going on, you know. She was moving pretty fast, taking off out there, crossing the creeks out across the fields and just kept right on going and you know and Kanate he just walking there trying to catch up with her and uh Raider came to Silo and said you know what's the matter and, and she wouldn't even talk to him and Crater's like wow you know <laughs> she's really mad and uh so he Crater decided well all right uh he went back to the creator went back to uh, Kanate because he was moving right along trying to catch up. And uh, uh, Kanate said to the creator, she is going really fast. I don't know that I can catch up with her. And the creator said, well, let me see if I can do something to help slow her down. And so uh, by this time, you know, evening was coming on and, and Sula was still walking. And she was going over the hills and down through the valleys and just keeping right on going and uh, non-stop. So uh, Kanate, he stopped for the night and lit a fire and caught some fish. And, and uh, Salo, she just kept going. Next morning, you know, Creator had some really beautiful purple flowers grow up in front of her path right into her way. And she just walked right through them like they weren't even there. And that confused Creator because, you know, Celo, she really likes those flowers. And he couldn't, the Creator couldn't understand why uh, Celo wouldn't stop and look at the flowers. So, uh, time went on and Creator uh, raised up a big tall plants in her path to try to slow her down. She just kept right on going through them. And Raider went back to Conte and said, boy, she is really going. She is really upset. And uh, Conte was, was trying his best to catch up, but there was not going to happen, you know. She was she was going pretty good. She was strong. And uh, so Conte pleaded with Creator, you know, do something, slow her down so I can catch up with her and talk to her about what happened. And, you know, and so Creator said, well, let me think on that. And uh, Creator headed back over there towards Silo and she was going on and tried to talk to her again and, you know, what, what's the matter? And, and she said, well, he really made me mad. And, 
the creator said, well, you know, if you sit down and talk to him, maybe you can work it out. And she said, I'm not going back there. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so she kept going. The creator was really befuzzled. And uh, by this time, it was getting night. And uh, so Conate stopped again and lit the fire. And, and uh, this time, Sulu stopped for the night, and she slept. And, and they kept on going. Next morning they were up, she got up, and she started off again, and she went through this small wood. And when she came out the other side, she started noticing that there was these plants growing on the ground, and they had these bright red berry bushes on them, berries on them, you know, real big red berries. She was walking through them, and she just kept going for a long, long way, but she started noticing, finally, that they were there, and as she was going, she decided, well, I'm starting to get a little hungry. Let me try these out. And she stopped, and she picked one of these big berries, and she tasted it, and it tasted really good. So she picked some more, and she started eating them, and eating them, and eating them, and she thought, wow, this is really good. So she pulled up her dress, and she filled it up, and by this time, she turned around, headed back towards the house. And she had completely forgotten what she was upset about and all she wanted to do was find Donate and show him these great new berries that she had found, the Creator had given to her. And she kept going and she ran into Donate and said, look what I found here. And she shared the berries with him and he was amazed. He was really happy that she was feeling happy again and everything was okay. And they headed back to the house. And everything was restored to harmony once again. And that's the story of the origin of the strawberry. Walking Beauty.